Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited, GRSE, launched Ajay, the eighth and final vessel in a series of anti-submarine warfare shallow watercrafts, for the Indian Navy. The launch ceremony was attended by Vice Admiral Kiran Deshmukh, with his wife Priya Deshmukh, officiating the event. Built in Kolkata, these 77.6-meter-long warships are designed for coastal and low-intensity maritime operations. Equipped with lightweight torpedoes, ASW rockets and mines, they support subsurface surveillance and anti-submarine warfare, including coordinated missions with aircraft. Their low-draft design enhances maneuverability in shallow waters, strengthening India's coastal defense. The completion of this anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft series marks a milestone in indigenous warship manufacturing and boosts the Navy's capabilities against underwater threats. In a major push for self-reliance in defense, India's Aeronautical Development Establishment, AD, is collaborating with U.S. aerospace giant, General Atomics, to develop an indigenous high-altitude long-endurance UAV. The project aims to support the Indian Armed Forces with a long-range, high-endurance drone, capable of strategic surveillance and precision strikes. General Atomics, renowned for its Predator and Reaper drones, will provide technical guidance in five key areas. Aerodynamic optimization, flight control systems, autonomous operations, payload integration, and ground control station enhancements. Two design concepts, a Y-tail and a single-engine twin boom, are under development. This collaboration builds on India's earlier Tapas BH program and is expected to accelerate development, reduce risks, and align India's hail drone with global standards under the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative. The Indian Air Force is planning to enhance its Mirage 2000 fleet by integrating the indigenous Astra Mk2 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, aiming to address the missile range gap with adversaries like China and Pakistan. The Astra Mk2, developed by DRDO, with a range of 160 to 180 kilometers, surpasses the currently equipped French MICA missiles. However, integration challenges persist due to incompatibility with the Mirage's French-made Thales RDY radar, requiring access to proprietary source codes. The IF is in discussions with Dassault Aviation to overcome this hurdle, though costs may be significant, given the Mirage's past upgrades. Alternatives like retrofitting Indian ASA radars exist, but may prove more complex. With the Mirage 2000s expected to serve till 2035, this upgrade is critical to maintaining air dominance and extending the life of a battle-proven platform. India's DRDO has taken a major step toward upgrading the IF Sukhoi-30 MKI fleet by issuing an RFP on July 18, 2025 for co-developing the Advanced Virupaksh ASA radar. Developed by LRD, this gallium nitride-based radar will replace the older Russian N011 MBARS radar, offering a detection range of 300 to 400 kilometers and the ability to track up to 100 targets simultaneously including stealth fighters like China's J-20. The radar's rotatable antenna, thermal efficiency, and plug-and-play design make it ideal for seamless integration. This forms a core component of the Rs. 65,000 crore Super 30 program, which aims to modernize 84 Su-30s from 2026 with indigenous avionics, digital cockpits, voice control, and Astra Mk-3 missiles, boosting combat capability and service life by 30 years. India is developing Nioma in eastern Ladakh into its highest fighter-capable airbase at 13,700 feet, just 30 to 35 kilometers from the line of actual control with China. The Rs. 214 to 219 core project, led by the Border Roads Organization, BRO, aims to counter China's rising military presence and China-Pakistan coordination. By October 2025, 
the mud-paved strip will become a full-fledged, all-weather base with a 3 km runway supporting Rafaeli, Su-30 MKI, and MiG-29 operations. Designed for extreme conditions, it will feature bomb-proof hangars, radar stations, and hardened shelters. Its location enables rapid air response, surveillance, and logistics in Ladakh. Nioma will also allow operations by UCAVs and attack helicopters, extending India's strategic reach over both Chinese and Pakistani sectors. Once operational, it will become the fourth major Indian Air Force base in the region. India's AK-203 assault rifle project, named SHUR, is set to achieve 100% indigenization by December 31, 2025. Currently 50% locally sourced, the rifles are produced at the Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited Facility in Umethi under a rupees 5,200 crore contract. With 48,000 rifles already delivered, the target is to supply over 70,000 by year-end and complete the Army's 6 lakh unit order by 2030, two years ahead of schedule. As indigenization advances, output will reach 150,000 rifles annually. Designed to replace aging INSA's rifles, the AK-203 combines modern firepower and reliability. The project showcases strong India-Russia defense collaboration and aims to position India as a top global small arms exporter. Export plans are underway, making this a strategic milestone in India's Atmanirbhar Bharat mission and military modernization. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is scheduled to visit the Maldives on July 25 to 26, marking his first visit since assuming his third term. During the visit, he and President Mohamed Muizu will hold high-level talks and inaugurate joint developmental projects, alongside signing multiple MOUs, aimed at boosting cooperation across key sectors. The visit coincides with the 60th anniversary of Maldives' independence and 60 years of diplomatic relations with India. Historically, India has played a pivotal role in supporting the Maldives, notably during the 1988 coup attempt, the 2004 tsunami, and the 2014 water crisis. These actions have fostered deep mutual trust. The visit underscores India's continued commitment to regional partnership and the strategic importance of the Maldives in South Asian maritime cooperation and security. India's upcoming fighter aircraft, Tejas Mk-1A, Tejas Mk-2, and the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA, are set to revolutionize the Indian Air Force's capabilities with a cutting-edge software architecture that allows rapid, flexible updates. According to a senior designer from the Aeronautical Development Agency, these fighters will incorporate modular software frameworks, enabling upgrades and new features to be added much like over-the-air updates on smartphones. This marks a significant shift from the conventional approach, where hardware or major software modifications required long downtime and support from the original developer. With the new system, the Indian Air Force will be able to implement minor software changes independently, such as updating mission profiles or integrating new weapons, without relying on ADA or foreign OEMs. This development enhances operational autonomy, reduces update timelines, and increases the adaptability of the aircraft in dynamic combat environments. It also aligns with India's broader push for technological self-reliance in defense systems. As Tejas MK2 and EMCA advance towards production and deployment, this next-gen digital architecture is expected to offer long-term strategic advantages in maintaining and upgrading India's future air combat fleet. In a major step toward self-reliance in defense technology, India's DRDO is advancing plans to develop a powerful 10 kN class jet engine to support its next generation of unmanned aerial systems. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, proposed this engine as a scaled-up version of the 4.5 kN small turbofan engine, or MONIC, which has already powered successful trials 
such as the indigenous technology cruise missile in 2022. The proposed engine aims to address growing military needs by enabling heavier and longer endurance UAVs. It is expected to power upcoming platforms, like a jet-powered medium-altitude long endurance, drone and the Cats Warrior, an autonomous loyal wingman, designed to operate alongside manned fighter jets such as the Tejas and AMCA, to meet performance demands at 30,000 to 40,000 feet and support strike roles. The engine will require advanced materials and modular design enhancements. Key technologies like single crystal turbine blades developed by DMRL will be crucial. The initiative complements India's broader aero engine development efforts, including the 48.5 kN Kaveri derivative for the Guttuck Stealth UCAV. However, experts have noted that timely funding and long term military commitment will be vital to avoid delays and fully realize the potential of India's indigenous propulsion ecosystem. In light of growing regional security challenges, India's defense planners are exploring the development of a sixth-generation aircraft, envisioned not as a traditional fighter, but as a long-range strategic strike bomber. The concept is driven by the vulnerability of India's northern airbases, to advance Chinese missile systems like the DF-21D and DF-26, which pose a serious risk in any future conflict scenario along the line of actual control, LAC. The proposed bomber would be capable of flying over 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers, allowing it to launch precision strikes from southern India, far from enemy missile range. This approach would ensure that India retains airstrike capabilities, even if its forward airbases are compromised offering resilience and deeper strategic deterrence. Such an aircraft would bolster India's operational reach, enabling strikes deep into hostile territory and across the Indo-Pacific. It would also align India with global trends, as the US and countries like the UK and Japan pursue their own sixth-generation programs. Seen as a logical evolution beyond the AMCA, India's fifth-generation fighter project, the bomber would integrate stealth, AI, and multi-domain capabilities. Realizing this vision would demand long-term investment, international collaboration, and a focused push toward strategic autonomy in aerospace defense. What do you think? Comment below. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.